Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial series of car race using graphics in C. So if you are new to graphics in C and just watching this video for the first time, then if you don't have even a single knowledge about the graphical functions but you know about C programming, then not to worry a bit. Just click on the link which is in the above picture link. The above picture is linked to the all the playlists which contains basic details or basic functions regarding graphics so once you are done with that then you can come back to this and if you know about the graphical functions uh, which are explained under graphic data but you don't know about this series and you are watching this video for the first time then click on the link which is in the left side which has a icon of this tutorial series so you if you click that then you will be redirected to the playlist so that you could watch this from the beginning and if you are watching this continuously then it will be work it will be fine so let's start our this video okay guys in our last video we left uh, this up to this by making crack and life and points so in this video we are going to move this track so that it would look like realistic that look little realistic so let's get started so for that before doing those we need to take all our codes into an infinite loop because our game will always run continuously until and unless we explicitly exit it so we want to make our all code inside our infinite loop which would be while one which would make our condition always true so now, now we need to, in order to stop it, uh, we, while we are moving the track, we are clearing the background and again creating a background. So it would create a blinking if we do normally. So in order to eradicate that, we are using a technique called, uh, we are using a technique which would lead us to set our active page and draw in the background page, which means it will draw in one page and it will display in another page. So we can just change it radically between those two pages so it would so it won't allow our graph with graphs to blink so you will just understand by looking at it so if you don't know about that process then just check out the video which popped out now so let's get started so for that we need a variable called um, let us make a page so set initially to zero now we are using set Active page, which will be our page, and set visual page, which will be our one minus page. After that, we are using clear device, it will create a clear the screen. And in the last, we are using page equals to one minus, page. and we are setting a delay of 20 milliseconds. Now, this all did the thing. Now, when we see this, we won't get any change until and unless we start our graphs changing the position or started our track to move. So for that, we need a variable. Uh, let us name it move track. So, our track is going to move in y direction. So its value y value will be changing, so we we'll just give it t underscore y. So set it initially to negative 300. Now what we are going to do here is in this loop. This we use for creating a line. So in order to move our track, we are moving those lines. So it would give us, it would give the player visualize the visual that actually our track is moving but it won't be the condition only our lines which are in the track would be moving so for that we are adding our variable t underscore y in their y axis so whenever we change the t underscore y value this will also change that means the tracks y value will also change so now here we are increasing the track y value uh, let it be 15 so now we are giving the condition if 
fifty and restore y will be maximum or greater than four hundred, then we will reset that to our initial position which is minus three hundred. I will explain you once it is done properly. So now let's see what happened. And now you can see that our track is actually moving. So now I will explain you how it is working. So we just initialize our t underscore y negative three hundred because let's see when we run the program then it would it should appear it from the negative 300 position so now you can see that it is popping out from the middle of the road so to fix that we are doing we will do some stuff later but first let i'll make you understand the stuff so first we are initializing t and y to negative 300 so that our graph would start drawing from negative 300 position so we can only see it when it comes to zero position so when it uh, comes to zero, then more number of graph would already be drawn. So for that, we are initially setting it to negative 300. So after that, in the loop, we want to move our track in the y-axis. So we are adding that t underscore y value in the y-axis of our rectangle and in the floor field also, so that it would take all the uh, color inside that graph. So and after that we are increasing the t underscore y value of 15 so that it would move 15 pixels in each 20 milliseconds because our delay is 20 milliseconds so in each 20 milliseconds it would move by 15 pixels towards downward or towards positive y axis so whenever our t underscore y value would reach greater than 400 so when it will reach a particular point then we are resetting it so that again our track will start from beginning and again it will go as you can see here at first it starts from beginning and it will go here again it will start from here so when it reach here then our track is resetting so now it does not seem uh, good because our track is disappearing in the middle and reappearing in the middle so we'll fix that so for that we are doing let this let make this 450 and let's see whether it will fix or not mm. again it is not working properly so let's make this 400 and now it looks like our track is actually moving Okay, now that I just got an appropriate value, so you just set t underscore y is greater than 0 and reset it to the minus 500. So we are starting from minus 300, but later we are resetting it to minus 500. So it will give us an appropriate look so that it won't appear that it is popping out in the middle. Now you can see that it is coming out from the top, so it won't seem like it is popping out. So now we can say that our track is actually moving. So in next video, we will add some obstacles. And we'll even draw the tracks for that. And add some other new features. So, until then. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. So, if you like this video, then click on the like button below. And don't forget to comment if you have any doubts regarding this or if you have any suggestions about this video or about this tutorial series then please mention in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you would like to share then i would be gladly happy and if you have any other further more suggestions or if you want to know about other stuffs in programming or other knowledge regarding the various stuff then just go to the facebook page which link is just in the app icon above so you just click that icon then you would be redirected to our facebook page so facebook group sorry uh, so that dear yeah, you could ask any kind of stuff that you have in mind or you could post any kind of questions which is related to programming so guys that's all for today and hope you enjoyed this video so stay tuned for further more updates and keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much